145 Carrick Manon Road, Raffrey. Now the official address is Cross Gar, uh, but it is in fact in fact closer to Saintfield. It's about four miles from Saintfield, one and a half miles to Raffrey, and quite close to Ballygarn as well. And of course Belfast, about 13 miles away. So we'll take a look at all the outside facilities, loads of facilities to look at outside. Let's have a look at the inside first. There we've just seen the lovely big hall, and now we're turning left-handed through the double doors into the main reception room. Um, there's a nice fireplace there as well. That's looking at it from the other angle, going back towards the hall. If you look out the windows there, you get views of the lovely countryside. The, the views from this property are fabulous. They're all sort of fields, trees and hedgerows. And we'll look straight ahead here to the dining room. And then just a little bit to the left, this is the family room, which takes you through to the kitchen. Um, it's got the big open chimney breast, which we'll look at when we come back and look at it from the other angle. But this is a fabulous room, very cozy, right beside the kitchen, nice cottage style kitchen, and a good size too. So let's turn around now and look at the family area, the family room from the opposite direction. And you'll see the big open chimney breast with the cast iron log burner and plenty of space there and this is probably where you'd spend most of your time i would imagine so just beside the kitchen is the utility room we'll just have a quick look at that now the utility room the units are just matching the kitchen units and there's obviously your washing machines and everything out here and the stable door out to the paving which we'll take a look at that area later on so let's just go back through the family area again and onto the bedroom accommodation so this on the right hand side is the master bedroom but at the back of the house you'll see later on is what we call the apartment which is very much part of the house but you could also have self-contained access from outside as well but in the meantime this is the master bedroom it's a decent sized room it's got its ensuite shower room which we're just looking at now and the way out, I think you'll be able to see the built-in wardrobes just on the right-hand side there with the mirrors. So on to bedroom number two, which is just beside the master bedroom. And now we go towards the rear of the house. And this is bedroom number three. It's currently used as a study, as you can see. And we've just got the as bedroom number three. So family bathroom just coming up to the left. The apartment's straight ahead, so you can see uh, the relationship of it to the rest of the house. There's the family bathroom. And if we turn left now, that's a storage room uh, which has been wired for a sauna. So it was probably meant to be a sauna. Um, it would be a lovely addition to have to the house uh, beside the bathroom there if that's what you wanted to do. So we'll take a look at the apartment. There's a door there that separates it from the rest of the house. Uh, this is, well, bedroom number four in the house or bedroom number one for the apartment, whichever you, you would like to call it. And very nice glass um, fronted wardrobes there as well. And now we go straight in and have a look at the reception area of the apartment. It's a really good room. There's a kitchen area, sitting area, plenty of room for a dining table. That would make a fantastic master bedroom if that's what you wanted. And there is the shower room to go with it. So, so much potential there. Now that is the inside of the house more or less sorted. Now we're going to go outside and we'll start off at the front of the house and there's the view straight across the countryside, the sand school just um, in front of you. Let's go and look at the uh, garage stable building first. This is a really, really good building. There's the garage, really, really good size and we'll just go to the right here and there's the tack room it's a very secure tack room and then you saw the staircase on the way in we'll go up there and have a very quick look at the loft you can imagine this could be a teenager's playroom or anything whatever you wanted it to be so there's the front of the house uh, with its relationship to the stables stable number one and then we'll take a look at stable number two. There's, plenty, there's a concrete apron at the front and plenty of room for washing horses down or whatever. Um, two stables. And then we've got the feed room um, beside the stables as well. Now, there aren't any fields with this house, as, as you will know from reading the brochure. And um, we've got fantastic 
facilities, equestrian facilities. And we're going to go down now and look at the sand school. So it's a 60 metre by 20 metre sand school. It's floodlit and it's really, it's post and railed and it is really, really good condition. It's a very good sand school. Um, I was talking about, uh, talking to the owners about uh, what they do for any grazing. They've got grazing for their horses over the years from local farmers. They haven't had a problem whatsoever, but that's something you could talk to uh, the owners of the house about and maybe a local farmer if you wanted to. Um, have grazing for a horse or a pony. Back up the side of the house through the garden, there's the timber decking, and that's at the side of the house. There's the hot tub, just get a quick glance at the hot tub. We'll look at that again, um, but we want to go up and look at the rest of the garden, these trees and the lawn. And there we go, there's the hot tub at the back of the house, the terrace. Um, it's quite a large paved area there. And then we're going to go down the other side of the house. And that is really, the, the, there's a base for a conservatory there. You can just see at the left hand side, which will be outside the living room. But that is the video complete, more or less. Uh, it is a fabulous property. You must come and see it um, in really, really good order. And look at the stable block there as well. So it's a country bungalow, but it's got some fantastic extra facilities with it, including the apartment, the stable block, the sand school, and a lovely big garden with fantastic views. So if you would like to view the property, give us a call. Uh, the number's coming up on the screen now.